Hi guys, so today I thought I would do a quick get ready with me since I'm about to head out to work. Um, to work here, I don't really wear a lot of makeup, especially during the summer because you sweat a lot, especially because I work, um, um, and to be completely honest, um, I don't wear a lot of makeup to work just because it's really hot outside and my job is just standing outside so you know you don't want to sweat and get your makeup all over the place during the winter I do wear a lot more makeup not a lot more but like a regular amount I think right now um, I wear literally the minimum so I am gonna go ahead and put my daily moisturizer with sunscreen this one is by Avino it's a positively radiant daily moisturizer and I will link everything that I'm using down below so you want to make sure that you put a good amount of moisturizer on your face and that it does have SPF because if you're going to be working outside, I work outside for most of the time that I am working. So you want to make sure that you do have a good a good SPF on your face. You want to put some on your neck also because your neck is also really important to protect from the sun and the rest I kind of just put all over my face especially right under your eyes because that's where you know premature aging happens sunspots you just want to make sure that you're protecting your face in general the next thing I do is I use chapstick um, and I use the Burt's Bees Vitamin E Peppermint Chapstick. This one is my all-time favorite. Because you also want to protect your lips. Don't ever like neglect your lips because they also get sunburnt. And Simba's hair is always flying all over. All over the place okay so it's <laughs> actually really disgusting anyways the next thing I do is I do kind of comb my eyebrows out and fill them in a little bit not a lot nothing crazy um, I'm using the Anastasia brow Wiz in the color ebony so as you guys know the spoolie side look at me um, the spoolie side, I just brush them upwards. And then I kind of just fill in the bottom a little bit. I don't do anything crazy for work. They're just a little more defined, I would say. I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't conceal them or anything. I just wanted them to look a little more full. Now that we are done with that, I'm going to conceal some of my blemishes with my foundation. So we're gonna be using the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Foundation. And my shade in this is Light Beige or 03. I'm literally going to be putting the smallest amount on my hand. Literally the smallest amount. I'm just going to be correcting some of my blemishes. Like on my chin right here and on my cheek. Um, nothing crazy. You want to warm it up on the back of your hand. It just helps with how the foundation sets. So I put a little bit on my chin, a little bit right there. Usually it's honestly my left side that has most of the blemishes on my face. My right side is not, it doesn't bother me as much. I have some, but nothing that bothers me so much. And then I go in with my brush and kind of just you don't want it to be noticeable. I never like for my makeup to work to be noticeable. Um, you can wear a decent amount of makeup to work that is allowed. And to be completely honest, when I was 
This lighting is kind of off. When I was in Bahrain, I was one of those people that would wear a decent amount of makeup to work every day, which honestly now, I don't know how I did it because Bahrain was so hot and I would be wearing foundation. Well, I used to wear BB cream religiously even when it was hot like really really hot and now that i think about it i don't know i really don't know how i did that um because just thinking about sweating that much in any any foundation is just disgusting next i'm gonna kind of set my face since it's really oily from the moisturizer i like to use a setting powder and i'm using the no filter setting powder by colourpop and i'm grabbing this big fluffy brush i'm just grabbing some on the top i don't do a lot of this either tap off the excess and then i go over my chin first which is where i applied the foundation and of course drag it down a little bit to my neck now, I'm not wearing a crazy amount of foundation or anything, so I'm not really worried about setting anything. Just kind of taking away that shine from the moisturizer that we added earlier. Um, you don't have to put powder all over your face. I do this because I don't really like to be super, super shiny. It's kind of annoying, but this powder is actually... It's really good. Curl. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Today I'm gonna use the vol voluminous volu volume. Okay, this is not no spelling bee challenge, so let me just put the mascara on. And I don't put a lot either. Like that right there is enough for me. And I don't put any on the bottom just so that if I do like get um, a little sweaty down here or anything, it doesn't really like leak to my under eye. And... That is it, you guys. Literally, that's all I do for work every day. And, um, I mean, it's so simple. And, honestly, like, it works for me. Um, I'm more, I think, concerned with protecting my skin than I am with it looking flawless for work. If you guys want to see a makeup tutorial for, I don't know, maybe, like, a ceremony or, like, when I'm actually wearing my um, dress uniforms. Good afternoon. That is so weird. I didn't press anything, like it literally. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys would like to see down below. Comment, subscribe. Um, you guys already know all of that. I'm gonna link all the products that I am using down below. And I actually have to eat right before I go to work. So this was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little makeup for work tutorial and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.